people need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored. I can be destroyed. But as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. Millionaire playboy Bruce Wayne, who has been promoted to billionaire in this film, has traveled the world, and now he decides to return to Gotham City, and that early scene from Batman begins. It opens in two weeks. This is an early review. That is Christian Bale as Wayne, and Michael Caine as the loyal family butler Alfred. And to get straight to the point, Batman Begins is the fifth Batman movie, but the first one to get it right, to get it absolutely right. Criminals mock society's laws. You know this better than most. You cannot lead this man unless you are prepared to do what is necessary to defeat evil. Those are Liam Neeson and Ken Watanabe who trained Bruce Wayne in martial arts in a mysterious eastern country that is never quite named. Back in Gotham City, the plot involves a scheme to drive all of the citizens mad. And on the plot is a shrink played by Cillian Murphy who doubles as the Scarecrow. Katie Holmes is an assistant DA who begins to suspect that this shrink is not on the level. This is the third of Carmine Falcone's thugs you've had declared insane and moved into your asylum. Well, the work offered by organized crime must have an attraction to the insane. Or the corrupt. Morgan Freeman plays the scientific mastermind of Bruce Wayne's family company, exiled to the basement where he unveils some secret projects he's got in development. And over here on the throttle, flip that open and throttle up. This will boost you into a rampless jump. Right now! Gary Oldman plays the good cop Lieutenant Gordon, who in Batman Begins works hard. And you know, if he sticks with Batman and continues to do the right thing, someday he might become Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner <laughs> Love set up a massive task force to catch you. He thinks you're dangerous. What do you think? I think you're trying to help. There's an incredible chase scene involving the Batmobile in about half of Gotham City, which was, in this case, Chicago. Who is this guy? This is the darkest of the Batman movies and the most engrossing, with a hero who is learning from his mistakes and a villain who poisons the water system with an insanity drug and then plans to vaporize the water so all the citizens will breathe the drug and go mad. Now there is an evil scheme for you. <laughs> Last year, Spider-Man 2 got Spider-Man right, and this year, Batman Begins is the Batman movie I've been waiting for and hoping for. It's one of the year's best films. It absolutely is, and I, you know, I love the first film that Tim Burton directed, yeah. but I still say this is the best oh, yeah. Batman movie ever mm -hmm. by far. Far. Christopher Nolan, who directed Memento mm -hmm. and Insomnia, mm -hmm. has directed this film and has put a great stamp mm -hmm. on it. It is dark. This Batman character, Christian Bale, is terrific. Mm -hmm. And then you have all of these great oh, actors, yeah. Roger, Michael, Kane, and Liam Neeson, and Morgan Freeman, adding such mm -hmm. weight to all of those scenes, and they play it straight. No one's winking at the camera saying, oh, we're doing a comic book here. They're in this world. And you know, what's interesting is I really got involved in the story. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't just, oh, it's Batman, and here's the villain acting out, and mm -hmm. here's the weird, bizarre scheme. It was a fascinating story. Then the special effects. They take the city of Chicago, and they add a whole layer of special effects. Yeah, looks These great. elevated trains, the underground, uh, the lower level of some of the roads. Uh, Wayne Building is actually the Board of Trade. They created, and I, without they, getting into trade. a Chicago travelogue, they really make the city look they have big created and this enormous whole and city of Gotham. Yeah, it's 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 wonderfully done. And you know, Batman has always been the most interesting character. Yeah. And the other movies got so bogged down with the with the villain of the mm -hmm. week type stuff, the cartoonish villain. Here we have about four or five bad guys. Actually, there are several different you know go, things going on. But it's really more about Bruce Wayne and his alter ego, yeah. or is it Batman and his alter yeah. ego, Bruce Wayne? And Michael Caine, really interesting as the guy who yeah. treasures the Wayne family legacy and wants to make sure this kid doesn't screw up. Yeah. All of that stuff is really well done.